Hey guys, this is Dr. John Jaziri coming to you from Orange County, California. Guys, in today's video, we're going to be discussing one of the hottest topic out there in the news, and that is closure of Smile Direct Club. This is their logo here, Smile Direct Club. Yeah, like a little pretty smile. A lot of you have seen these. A lot of you have used these. I heard it was a quite a popular club, but unfortunately, it appears that the club is closed permanently all of a sudden. It was actually quite a bit of a shocker because, you know, people don't expect a big company, one that was valued at $5 billion just not that long ago, to just close out of the blue. But yeah, I guess business was kind of slow these days. Um, so what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to explain to you guys what Smile Direct Club is. Basically, they are an at-home clear aligner system, but I'll explain to you guys what it is, what it does, how it works, pretty much everything you need to know. Then I'm gonna go over the good and the bad, and of course the ugly about Smile Direct Club. I wanna go over what they did right, why they were so popular, what they weren't as good as, and what completely sucked about Smile Direct Club, okay? So kind of give you an understanding of everything you need to know. And then at the end, I'll kind of try to wrap everything up and give you a better understanding of not just Smile Direct Club, or, or but also about how teeth straightening should work and, you know, what are the shortcuts that work and what are the shortcuts that don't work and the things you need to be more aware of as a customer because, you know, having a beautiful smile isn't about not having gaps here. It's about having a proper bite relationship and just, uh, it goes way deeper than just, you know, having a you know, straight front six feet, which, um, yeah, we're gonna get into all of that in a little bit. So guys, we got plenty of things to talk about, but let's go ahead and get our video started with the first section, and that is basically, what is Smile Direct Club? All right guys, so let's start by explaining to you what Smile Direct Club is, or I should say what Smile Direct Club was, because the club has closed permanently. Smile Direct Club was a clear aligner system that was direct to the customer or patient, right? Probably shouldn't use the word patient because patient <laughs> requires a doctor, but we're not gonna get into the details. But this is basically what Smile Direct Club did. They would send clear aligners, which are used to straighten your teeth, right? This is a clear aligner. This is the upper arch. And this is a clear aligner for the lower arch. So let's say you have crooked teeth. You have gaps between your teeth, right? You want orthodontic work, right? Traditionally, you would have to get braces, okay? The alternative is clear aligners. Now, we used to call clear aligners Invisalign for like the longest time because Invisalign was a company, Align Technology, that invented these things, clear aligners, that would move teeth as an alternative to braces in certain situations. Um, now, what Smile Direct Club did is Smile Direct Club basically did what Invisalign did without involving dentists and orthodontists, right? So normally, if you want to get clear aligners, you have to go to your dentist who participates in Invisalign or orthodontist. And what they would do is they would see if you're a candidate for clear aligners or if you need braces, traditional metal and wire braces. And then if you were a candidate for Invisalign and if you could afford it, we would give you these as an alternative to traditional braces and you would wear these. The way these would work is you'd wear them 20 to 22 hours a day. You would only take them out to eat and brush and floss your teeth. And you'd wear each one of these for about two weeks or so. And which happens, what would happen is you would get a whole series of these, like 15, 20 of them. So over the course of a few months or maybe a year, depending on how much teeth movement was involved, you would wear your clear aligners and your teeth would become straighter and straighter and straighter until they're pretty much straight the way you want them to be. Okay, so that's how clear aligners work. Now what Small Direct Club did, was they removed the dentist and the orthodontist from the equation. And the way it would work is they said, well, you know what, Invisalign is too expensive, which is kind of right, because Invisalign costs about, on average, I would say four to $6,000, right? And the reason for that is because, you know, you have to pay the dentist and you have to pay the company. And Invisalign charges anywhere from one to $2,000 for each case, right? So if I'm paying Invisalign company one to $2,000, I need to charge at least two to three times that to make a profit, which means four to six thousand dollars for, you know, Invisalign treatment on average. So Invisalign was expensive and what Smile Direct Club did is by bypassing dentists and going direct to the customers, they were able to cut the price down significantly. Like it was something like 1,800, 2,000, you know, they had coupons running all the time, 
1600 bucks. So less than $2,000, right? Their commercial was $89 a month, no credit check. So it was a lot cheaper and there was no way I could compete with them because I have to pay the company. And if you're not gonna use a dentist, of course it's gonna be cheaper. So, so that's what Small Direct Club was. It was a clear liner system that went directly to the customer. And the way it would work is they would send you these impression kits, so you would take your own impressions, or they ended up setting up some smile shops where you would go and they would take impressions, or some dentists even were participating and they would just take it, do the work, take the impressions, take some pictures, explain what the problem was, and then it was sent to the laboratory where another dentist would sign off on them and you would get your clear aligner system. Okay, so that's how Smile Direct Club worked. They basically made the clear aligner system treatment a heck of a lot easier and a heck of a lot cheaper and also funner because, you know, they had these cool ads with all these pretty girls with clear aligners smiling and joyful. And then you come to the dentist, this depressing place with drill noises. So it was a lot funner than going to the dentist. Plus, you got to save some money. So Smile Direct Club was a direct-to-customer clear aligner system similar to Invisalign with no direct dentist involvement, okay? Now repeat that sentence three times. <laughs> okay, so that's how Smile Direct Club worked, guys. Now let's go ahead and discuss what Smile Direct Club did really well and what was the actual good things about Smile Direct Club. Okay, guys, so Smile Direct Club made clear aligners. It basically gave clear aligners a new life, right? Because before Smile Direct Club, you would have to go to the dentist or orthodontist at, in order to get these clear aligners, okay? With Smile Direct Club, that all went out the window, okay? They were founded in 2014, and within a few years, it took over the whole industry. So now, you could buy your clear aligners online, just like you would, you know, buy stuff off of Amazon. And it sounded like a really good thing, right? Because it was more convenient, right? You wouldn't have to bother going to a dentist and getting all this work done. They technically, they did require a dentist clearance, but you can just go get a cleaning anywhere and get that clearance, right? So there was no direct dentist involvement, right? It was easier. And of course, the most important thing was the cost factor because now instead of 4,000, 5,000, $6,000 for Invisalign treatment, it ended up being like 1,800, 1,900, you know, less than 2,000 generally speaking. And then they had monthly payment plans. They, they they said we don't require credit checks. So anybody that would come in that's been dreaming of a more beautiful smile would be eligible for this. And why not, you know, get a pretty smile for $89 a month, right? So it, their marketing was phenomenal. I mean, you just, I, how am I going to compete with a billion dollar company in terms of their marketing? Invisalign really stepped up their game because they realized they had a serious competitor. And, uh, but yeah, they delivered their product with more um, appeal. Yeah? They had all these young people, all these beautiful you know, girls and all these cool guys wearing their liners and getting their teeth straight. So their marketing was phenomenal. You know, they had a product that was a lot less expensive and the whole process was a lot easier because now you didn't have to bother going to the dentist and shopping and looking for the best price. And you'd never find a price that would compete with them. I mean, no dentist would consider doing this for what they were getting billed from Invisalign. So it just, there was no way really around it. So they really had a nice package going. And, you know, for some people, it actually worked well. Now, of course, there's a lot more to it. But the good of it was those things. It was fun, it was easy, and it was convenient. Okay, now let's go ahead and discuss what wasn't so good about Smother Club. Okay guys, so now that we have discussed what was good about Smother Club, let's go over and say what wasn't so good, the bad and the ugly about Smother Club. So the biggest thing with Smother Club is they really weren't honest about what clear aligners are capable of doing, right? If you saw their ad, you would think, Oh my gosh, Smile Direct Club is awesome. I don't need a dentist. I can just buy this product and I will have perfectly straight teeth. Okay, well, fact of the matter is for 90% of you, that is absolutely not the case, okay? Clear aligners have a lot of limitations as compared to braces. Ah, there's my braces model. And on top of that, Clear aligners have a lot of limitations if there's no dentist or orthodontist involved in your treatment. So, 
In other words, maybe over, maybe only 5% or 10% at most of the actual people who need braces and, you know, orthodontic work would actually get the smile they wanted from Smile Direct Club. Okay, so they weren't really forthcoming and honest with the marketing because, you know, that's where the boring and the lame dentist jargons come in. But guess what, guys? You know, this is a science. Teeth relationship is very important and having a pretty smile isn't about how your front six teeth work. It's about how the back teeth are in contact with each other. Okay, orthodontic is a very deeper science than just, you know, pretty front teeth. So what they could deliver for a lot of customers was really, um, you know, disappointing and it just wasn't what they promised, okay? And you gotta be realistic. If you're paying half for a treatment and there's no dentist involved, you really need to expect only half of a pretty smile. And that just wasn't what people were promised. You know, they said, you'll get a perfectly smile in under six months for $89. Your smile would probably get a little bit straighter, but there was a relapse and it almost never became the way people envisioned it. So there just was a big gap between expectations and reality, which I could have told you this, but you know, the commercials would say otherwise. So the unfulfilled promises was one of the main problems. And a lot of the patients who were doing Small Direct Club work, who were also my patients, would go back for more aligners and more aligners to get the teeth straighter and straighter. And you know, I kind of knew that they'll never get the results they were promised, but just didn't want to break their heart and tell them. But the fact of the matter is they wouldn't get the results they were promised for reasons which we're going to get into, okay? So why is it that clear aligners can't straighten everybody's teeth on this planet? Well, there's a few reasons. Okay, first off, clear aligners are not good at moving back teeth. Simple as that, okay? If your back teeth need to be moved, you cannot wear Invisalign or clear aligners or any clear aligner system. So boom, there goes the first big problem. Clear aligners only work for moving your front teeth. That's it. The back teeth have stronger roots. They're very strong and clear aligners don't put enough forces to move them. So if you have, okay, this is your bite relationship, right guys? This is how your back teeth touch. All right, and this is how they should touch on my model, okay? But if you have a poor bite relationship where the teeth aren't touching correctly or they're touching at angles that aren't uh, exerting the forces properly onto the teeth, so if you have problems with your bite, which is the back teeth, you can't wear clear aligners, okay? Not even Invisalign, okay? You need to stick with traditional braces, which is what most orthodontists do, okay? So that's another reason. Usually kids who come to us and they're teens, I almost never recommend clear aligners. It's almost always traditional braces because you have bite relationships, your jaw is growing, your teeth are coming into contact. Now, if you have crookedness going on in the back, that needs to be addressed. And the correct way to address that is braces, okay? So, you know, a lot of people who were doing Smile Direct Club treatments were, you know, teenagers who needed braces and said they did this, it's not gonna work. Okay, you can pay for this, but then you also have to pay for invisible for braces when it's done. So that's just money that's wasted. Yeah, it's cheaper, but it's not getting any, you know, you're not getting anything for it. So now you have to still do the braces. So that's money wasted down the toilet, right? Um, now, the other thing is there are cases that qualify for Invisalign. You know, if you have crookedness with the front teeth, gaps in the front teeth, then yeah, clear aligners usually get the work done. You don't need to do this. In fact, for a lot of people who've had braces and as they get older, they don't wear their retainers. Now they're in their 20s and 30s. I almost always recommend going with Invisalign because it's easier, you know, and you've already corrected your bite with braces. So now you just need to kind of tune things up. Yeah, that's when Invisalign is extremely effective or Smile Direct Club. But here's what Smile Direct Club doesn't do that we as dentists do. Okay, one of them is called, uh, give me a second so I could try to explain this to you. One of them is we put, when you go to the dentist to do Invisalign treatment, we put these little brackets on teeth. Okay, I'm gonna try to show it to you guys on my models, okay? If you can see, these are little brackets, okay? So if you look at somebody who's going on, undergoing Invisalign treatment, you're gonna notice their teeth have these little bumps on them, these little white bumps. And what these guys are, these are basically um, the equivalent of brackets for braces. But what they do is they lock the clear aligners in to rotate teeth, okay? So in order to rotate teeth, you need to add these attachments, these white things, and use those to rotate teeth. Well, guess what? Smile Direct Club, it doesn't use a dentist. So for them, rotating teeth was really, really hard. So if you had a tooth here that was crooked, 
rotating it with Smile Direct Club would usually, you know, not give you 100% results. Whereas with Invisalign, you could get it 100%, okay? So that's one of the deficiencies. Another deficiency was um, IPRs, interproximal reduction. And here's what happens. If you have crookedness with, let's say, your bottom teeth, okay? Let's say these lower teeth are crooked, which happens to a lot of patients, right? They have crooked lower teeth and they want to get them straightened out with Invisalign. If you were clear aligners, you would get them straightened out. But here's a problem that would happen. Let's say there's two millimeters of crookedness here, okay? I get my clear aligners from Smile Direct Club, I wear them, boom, six months later, it's straight. What's gonna happen six months after that or a year after that? Your teeth are gonna become crooked again because that two millimeter of crowding hasn't been addressed in its roots. So the teeth get straight and they get crooked again because your jaw doesn't have enough room. The two millimeter of uh, crowding, it's still there, right? Imagine, let me try to explain this a little bit better. Imagine this is how big your jaw is, but this is how many teeth you have, right? So if you use the clear liner to kind of make everything fit, because the spacing and the lack of spacing is still there, your teeth are gonna go back to the original position, relapse. So in order to prevent that from happening, what we do, like if there's two millimeters of crowding here, we go and we shave between the teeth. So what we do is two millimeters, we take the front, let's say six teeth, and we shave like 0.3 millimeters off of each tooth, 0.3 times six is 1.8 millimeters, boom, there's your crowding. So we do IPR, in proximal reduction. We create spaces, we pull the teeth back together, and now it has a much lower chance of relapse, if you wear your retainers, of course. So we. Break with ortho when you go to um, get Invisalign treatment, we do those things. We put attachments to rotate teeth, we do IPR to reduce the crowding and eliminate it permanently. You don't get to do that without a dentist. And Smile Direct Club would make your teeth a little bit straighter, but then boom, they would go back to where they were, and then it would give you more and more retainer. So <laughs> every single patient I had who went to Smile Direct Club was get on their second or third set. And then another thing we do for patients is when we're doing their clear aligners, you know, we usually give them two to four trays and see them every month or two to monitor the progress, right? Because what happens is these are generated by the computer, right? So what the computer does, they take your crooked teeth, they go ahead and they model them to look straight, right? So let's say the crooked teeth start here and this is the final straighter model, okay? The computer decides that if each clear aligner is moving the teeth by two tenths of a millimeter and we're trying to move them two millimeters. Okay, so we need 10 clear aligners, okay? And they 3D print these clear aligners and you get it. But the computer can be wrong, okay? You start wearing them after a few trays, it's not fitting anymore. So now you need to go back to the drawing board. Well, another issue that happens is if you get 20 clear aligners and you're just trying to wear them and all of a sudden things aren't going the way the computer had pre predicted them, now your treatment is off course and you're just wasting months wearing something that's ineffective. So there was no supervision, yeah? So no supervision, no option to rotate teeth, no option to actually cut teeth to reduce the crowding. <sighs> yeah, and this is the mess that you get. You get a company that's promising something and you know, the, the customers, their patients, they all expected a straight smile. You know, if their jargon was smile direct club will improve your smile, but only a little bit. Perfect, right? You know, that's exactly what it is. But no, Smile Direct Club will give you the beautiful smile. Everything will be perfect. Just wear a clear line. No, there's always a compromise. Even with, you know, actual braces and clear aligners, unless you go to a top-notch orthodontist who's had, you know, eight years of training <laughs> and has been doing it consistently on a daily basis, you're not gonna get perfect results. You know, if you go even to a general dentist, you're still gonna get an eight out of 10 results usually, you know? So do not expect something that's mailed to you in a box with all the letters and what to give you a perfect smile. It's just not gonna happen. So yeah, that was the problem with Smile Bear Club. There was no case selections. You know, there was no discussion of, you know, your jaw relationship is off, so you need braces. No, there was no relationship of you have cheap crowding, so we can do clear aligners, but they're gonna relapse because we're not issuing your crowding. No, none of that. So there was just an overpromise and an under delivery. And yeah, that was the biggest problem with Small Direct Club, guys. Okay guys, so it is time for me to share with you my final thoughts on Smile Direct Club. First off, RIP to them. They were a, quite a controversial and 
gutsy company because once they came in, they started suing everybody and their mother, okay? If you said anything bad about it, they would sue you. They sued the dentist, they sued um, the dental boards, and then of course the dentist and the dental boards were suing them. And the biggest issue with all these lawsuits was this. Um, and I, I don't even know the answer to your, this question. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments. But here's what they were saying. They were saying, we're allowed to work on your teeth because we're not doing anything invasive. Okay, so I go to school, I wasted half of my life to get this dental degree in order to work on people's teeth. And we know that without a DDS or DMD degree, which is for the dentist, right? You're not allowed to work on people's teeth. Now, there's a little gray line, because okay, I mean, you can sell a toothbrush to clean teeth. That's okay, of course. What about a night guard, you know? I don't know if you guys are familiar with what the night guard is, but the night guard is basically something like this, that's a lot thicker than a clear line, right? Well, you can buy a night guard online. You can go and pick it up at your drugstore, make it yourself. It's not gonna be as good as one I make for you, but you can buy night guards online without a dentist, okay? So now the question becomes, what about clear liners? Can you do these yourself? And that's where the disputes and the arguments and the lawsuits originate from, because Smile Direct Club said, look, we're not doing anything invasive. We're just doing clear liners, which is just like a night guard. So we don't need to have a dentist involved, right? And we do have a dentist involved. There is a dentist who's signing off on these. Of course, the dentist is 2000 miles away. He's probably on Facebook and posting comments while he's clicking approve, approve, approve. Let's be honest. There isn't really a direct dentist involvement if you can't look in patient's mouth. But that was their whole idea. And then the dentists were saying the exact opposite. They're saying, no, you're moving people's teeth, which is, you know, an invasive procedure. So it does need to be something that only dentists can offer. And then what Smile Direct Club is, they went and signed up one dentist in every state or every country who would approve the treatments for that particular region. So anyways, long story short, there was a big, you know, fight between them. And of course, I mean, I kind of get Smile Direct Club's perspective because yeah, I mean, five, six thousand dollars for a bunch of these it's a little bit expensive, but I mean, what am I supposed to do? I have to pay Invisalign, I have to pay my staff, I have to see you 20 times, and I have to um, do work on your teeth. And if you're unhappy, I have to give you more aligners. So even the four or 5,000 that you're paying, I make more money doing a single crown on a patient, to be honest with you, when you actually add up all the time involved in that. So it's not even really a profitable business, in my opinion, for dentists. That's why I don't really even push Invisalign too much on patients. You know, if they want it, I'll do it for them. And if not, oh well, you know, we'll have crooked teeth. But back to our discussion. Uh, you know, there's just no way. I mean, if a dentist promises you 2000 for Invisalign, no, it's just run away. That dentist is hiding something. It just doesn't make sense, at least not in the United States. Um, so I couldn't compete with them. So no dentist really could compete with them. And they're right. I mean, five, 6000 for clear learners is a little bit expensive. But guys, I mean, there's a cost involved, you know. The company has to 3D print them. This isn't like a night guard. I mean, Jesus Christ, a proper night guard costs four or 500 bucks anyway. So how are we gonna do a clear aligner system, a treatment for a year? So the numbers were just, I mean, it was, their business model was just not gonna work with dentists. So that's where all the disputes and the complaints came. The dentists were upset that they're losing clients to them. And of course, you know, the clients were um, allured by that really good attractive prices. Um, but guys, this is the one thing that all these people who bought Smile Direct Club missed in the equation. And of course, I'm not talking about the fact that the company's out of business. Now. <sighs> Getting your teeth straightened and having a beautiful smile, well, it's fantastic, felicissimo. But guys, the most important thing with orthodontics is the relationship of your back teeth and having a correct bite. The front teeth are a bonus, a cherry on the top. You need to have a good bite because if you don't have a good bite, what happens is as you get old, which we all do, you're gonna start having headaches, TMJ problems. And I've had patients that they have poor bite relationships. And you know, once in your 40s and 50s and 60s, you gonna start breaking your teeth left and right, you know? So <laughs> that thousand or 2000 you're gonna save by doing a clear aligning treatment that's gonna mess up your bite, which Smile Direct Club usually did. It's just not worth it, guys. You know, one single tooth problem, one single implant or root canal crown will cost you way more than that you can than you're saving by trying to cut corners. So, do I think you should do clear aligners at home without supervision? Like I said, 
95% of times you should not, okay? The the 5% exception is you have Invisalign, your teeth move just a little bit, okay, fine. Do, you know, smile the red club, yeah. Or, but you know, the funny thing is, even in those cases, if you go to your dentist and you tell them, look, my teeth have hardly moved, can I get a better deal? I could probably give you a better deal because Invisalign has a cheaper plan for the really, really simple cases. And you could get away with like maybe $2,500, $3,000 for a really simple case. And those are really, frankly, the only cases that Smile Direct Club should have touched, okay? But yeah, I mean, do I think you should try to move all your teeth and organize them if you really need some serious orthodontic work in an unsupervised uh, setting with a bunch of clear eyes? No, of course not. That's it's insanity. You're going to get the front teeth straightened, but your bite's going to be off. And then the front teeth get crooked, so now you take in one step forward, two step back. So guys, yeah, you get what you pay for in this world. And you know, unfortunately, the smother club business really didn't work out. So unless there's an actual technological breakthrough that makes the braces process easier, I just don't think you guys should, you know, try to do your own teeth straightening. <laughs> it's just it's very, you know, it's there's just a lot involved with that. And having a good bite relationship is very critical to your um, long-term oral health, TMJ health, headaches, and just, yeah, the overall function of the mouth and the body. So guys, yeah, don't mess with that. Okay? Let your dentist and orthodontist do it. And you know, there's we offer payment plans too. Okay, fine, it's about $89 a month, you might pay 200 bucks a month, but it's worth it, you know? And when you go to your dentist, we are, you know, more accountable for our work. So if my patient gets their teeth straightened and they're not happy, I'll gladly make him an extra five retainers, five aligners and whatnot and fix it. But of course, you know, you just have to pay a little bit more for that time and effort that your dentist or orthodontist puts into straightening your teeth. Okay guys, well, I did quite a bit of yakking. I hope that was somewhat helpful. Oh, and by the way, for those of you who are, who had Small Direct Club and all of a sudden out of business, let me go ahead and share with you what you should do. Um, you should go see a dentist and see what and where you're at. And if you, you know, need, you might have to do braces to do it the correct way. Or if your, you know, your bite is okay, then you can do Invisalign and finish it. And it's gonna cost you another four or $5,000. Um, but that's kind of what you do. And you know, if everything's okay, your bite is okay and your teeth aren't straight, you can also leave it the way it is. Cause you know, I think it gives you character having a couple crooked teeth. You know, everybody's got straight teeth, right? Having a couple crooked teeth, cool character. <laughs> okay guys, so that was my two cents. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Now I am not an orthodontist, I'm a general dentist, but I've done a couple hundred clear aligner cases, Invisalign and um, clear collect, correct their competitors. So I'm more than familiar with this, but yeah, that's pretty much what I have to share with you guys. If you've had a nightmare story or if you had a good experience with Small Direct Club, please put them in the comments. If you have any questions, or if you have anything you want to ask me, please, again, put them in the question. I'll be more than glad to answer you guys. Um, and uh, yeah, if you think you have a solution for making teeth move easier, please, let's have a discussion. Let's figure it out because maybe there is an easier way to do it. But for now, Invisalign, braces, those are your two best options. Guys, Dr. Jaziri, until next time.